welcome back to makeup mistress well today uh, i have this new product well this is the new actually i bought this long time back i and and i every time i thought that i'll be reviewing this product but i never could actually so this is a wet and wild photo focus stick foundation in the shade soft beige and this is cruelty free and the price of this product is 650 and it has 12 gram of product and this is a stick foundation and i do have their wet and weld um, those uh, you know liquid foundation i have used it so many times in my videos and uh, so this is how it looks and this is how it applies so i think that this is little lighter than my skin tone I, this is i think perfect for my hands see uh, so let's see if this is my shade and uh, let's see so yeah let me start and yes this is little lighter than my foundation shade but never mind I can use this as my highlighter shade and so what I'll do is uh, as this is a stick foundation i don't need any other concealer because these are supposed to be little thick and now what i'll do is i'll take so i'll use some cream concealer i'll take the, so i'll take some cream contour shade from this palette of mine and i'll just use it on the areas I generally contour and now I'll blend this with the help of this sponge So guys, uh, the main thing is that um, this shade is, uh, you know, when I first applied this, this shade was literally a shade lighter than my skin tone. Uh, but when I blended it and it just mixed with my skin, the reason is because this is not a full coverage foundation. So let me just bake my under eye area and oh god it is supposed to rain you know the sky is like grrr <laughs> okay nice and powdery <laughs> So, um, yes, so what I was saying that, uh, so this is not a full coverage foundation, okay. So, this is like a, a medium to buildable kind of a coverage and 
that is the reason the um, foundation shade just blended in and uh, you know you can use this as a concealer but it will not cover all of your face you know all of the blemishes and everything that you have so hmm yeah <laughs> keep that in mind uh, but it is a very uh, you know a nice concealer foundation you can say but but the but this is a very nice kind of a foundation. This is very creamy. It glides on really well. It blends seamlessly. Okay, uh, without any fuss, it, it, it really blends well. So yeah, it does not leaves any uh, mark or something. But if you want full coverage, this will not give you. Because, um, you know, whenever you're blending, it is just moving the foundation a little bit. It is not that great but it is not that bad as well um you know for uh, people oh, like who have little dry skin and uh, they want something creamier and uh, you know uh, uh, even even for people uh, like in winter winters or if you are saying in some region where it is maximum time it's winters so you can go ahead and get this one because this is very smooth and uh, uh, this is uh, like uh, it glides on really well it it it, it is moisturizing uh, you know I did not apply any any primer or anything so that I can get the real feel of the foundation so here it is and I have just contoured it the cream contour part and I will now use some powder contour so that um, it stays put yes it helps my chora face look a little thin <laughs> so yeah so I'm just lightly powder contouring those areas I have cream contoured all right okay I'm done with the contour and this is the result so it is not that bad but it is not the best uh, kind of a stick foundation so yeah I will maybe give this foundation a 6 on 10 because yeah why not so yes if you want to get your hands on something which is uh, you know creamy which is <laughs> uh, easy to apply which blends really well and uh, is a medium coverage you don't want a lot of coverage and easily available <laughs> and uh, what else what else what other uh, pros i have mm, i think i think that's it so these are the pros five pros and the cons uh, number one it is it is not a full coverage one it does not have a lot of shades and um, what else what else I think yeah so if you have these two problems I think which will actually overpower all these five because um, yeah the coverage is important and especially if you're getting a, a stick foundation for yourself um, you expect a very strong um, base right so generally when we are doing um, you know shoots or uh, we are doing some makeup for stage performers so we generally use these kind of uh, stick foundation which sticks to your face and it's like totally full coverage and it uh, you know uh, covers everything every spot and zit uh, on your face uh, so it is not that but it is not a very bad kind of foundation if you're going for like if you have dry skin you must uh, use this and if you don't want a full coverage foundation which I generally don't like but I have my expectations from stick foundations that they will definitely have um, uh, a thicker consistency because they are having thicker consistency they should be giving you more um, coverage so yeah that is it so yes that was it for today a small and simple and short video i think <laughs> every day i think i'll make short videos but then yeah i end up 
you know at least seven eight minutes video so yeah um make sure you subscribe to my channel please do that it means a lot and thank you so much everyone for the 2k um goal that i reached and uh, yeah stay tuned to make a mistress and don't forget to stay gorgeous